Good morning. Good to study God's word with you today. Did you uh, enjoy the Packer game uh, on Sunday? I suppose it depends on if you're a Packer fan or not, but I, I'm assuming probably most of you are, who are watching are Packer fans, and well, it was a good good win, right? They played a tough team, uh, but they they played well enough, and in the end, they were they were victorious. And so perhaps after the game, uh, you were feeling you know happy and excited, and um, you felt like a winner because the the Packers had won. Um, I know I cheered and was happy to see that they won, but. Uh, well, did you, did I, did we, did we do anything to earn that victory? No, of course not. We, we didn't play in it. We didn't have anything to do with the game plan. We didn't have anything to do with who the players on the field were. Um, but we still have that connection, right, to the team, the team we root for, the team we have interest in. Um, and through that connection, we feel victorious. I bring that up today because that's what... Um, what came to my mind as I was reading, you know, through this section, and and really, I just want to read one verse to you today um, from First John chapter five, and it's uh, verse five. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Uh, you and I, we're winners. We have overcome the world, the pain, darkness, sin, all of it. Did we do anything to earn that victory? No. But how do we get that victory? It comes through faith in Jesus, the one who is victorious over all those things. Sin, death, the devil. And is he who overcomes that victory for us. And so, yes, you and I, we can get out of our chairs and and cheer and, and holler and and feel like a winner. Today and every day. Because Jesus has overcome the world for us. Who is it that overcomes the world? Only he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Uh, that's you. That's me. We are winners. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for the victory that we have in you. Uh, for overcoming all the, the pain, the trouble, the, the sin, the darkness of this world. Um, but help us to know the victory that we have in you. Uh, to look to you, have confidence in that victory, and to have that joy as we go about our day. Living in confidence of the victory that you have won for us. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God's blessings on your day.